The Adoptable Pet of the Week is made possible by a grant from the Bafflin Foundation and by Whole Pet Veterinary in Westford. Hi, I'm Dr. Corin Vickery with Whole Pet Veterinary Center. Stay tuned for my pet tip following the Adoptable Pet of the Week. <laughs> Hi, Patty Stocker here from Westford Cat, and we are with Lindsay Andela, the new volunteer coordinator at the Lowell Humane Society. Uh, welcome aboard, Lindsay. Glad to see you again. You were one of the foster parents for Doogie. Was it Doogie ha Doogie Hauser? Yes, yes, I was Doogie Hauser's foster parent. Now I'm uh, the staff here at the Lowell Humane Society, um, and I have with me. Moji and Kabuki, two of my other previous fosters, um, who are now back here at the shelter waiting for their forever homes. How did they end up at the shelter and how long have they been there? Yeah, so Moji and Kabuki came in with their two brothers. They're very young. Um, they're both under a year. Um, so they were dropped off just, uh, they had four rabbits and um, it's a lot of rabbits to take care of. So they, uh, the folks surrendered them and um, we split them up. So Mochi and Kabuki came with me to foster and we did a pregnancy watch um, on them just to make sure there were no babies. Um, there were not, thank goodness. Um, and now they've been stayed and are ready to go into their forever homes. What can you tell me about the type of home that would be best for two rabbits? Yeah, that's the video. They're very rabbit, so they definitely would be fit well in a home with people who are willing to kind of put that time and effort into socializing them um, and giving them the space that they need while also making sure that they're checking in on them regularly and getting them used to people. Um, they're definitely very shy, but they're very, very sweet. Once um, they've gotten settled with you and gotten comfortable with you after, uh, you know, spending a couple minutes with them, they do typically settle in and let you pet them. Um, they do love each other so much, so it would definitely be great if they could go into a home together. They're bonded. Um, yeah, but a quieter home with people who might be rabbit savvy or willing to learn um, about rabbit care. If anyone would like to learn more about caring for rabbits, the shelter staff is available to answer any questions or provide guidance for best practices. The Lowell Humane Society is introducing potential adopters to pets by appointment only. Call 978-452-7781 to learn more about Mochi and Kabuki or visit LowellHumaneSociety.org. You can also find them on Facebook. For Westford Cat, I'm Patty Stalker. Hi, I'm Dr. Corin Vickery with Whole Pet Veterinary Center. We are seeing more and more fearful and stressed out pets, particularly dogs. Some of the things that increase the risk of fearful behaviors are poorly implemented or inadequate early training, inadequate exercise, or chaotic households. Some dogs living in homes with stressed owners have measurably higher levels of the stress hormone cortisol. The good news is that we humans have the power to make an incredible difference in our dogs' lives by changing how we interact with them. Dogs need consistency, lifelong practice with training, and lots of exercise. If you have a busy household, make sure that your pet has a safe away space where she can go to get some peace and quiet. And make sure that you invest the time early on to get your young dog off on the right paw with solid reinforcement-based training then practice those skills often for the life of your pet. Thanks for listening and see you next time.